In our video, we're going to talk about how to create this door stop. So let me rotate that around so you can see what's going on. You can see we've got an in there on the label. And it looks like a shell underneath. So we're going to take a look and, and learn about sketches, extrusions, chamfers, offset, emboss, and even a little bit of draft. So first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and start a new design. And I'm going to go ahead and get in the habit, and I'll say save this one. So I'll call it Door Stop. I'm going to call mine Door Stop 2. You call yours what you need to call it. And I'll save it in the correct folder. By now, we know how to create our folders. I'll go up here to Assemble, and I'll say New Component. I'll go ahead for the name. I'll change that over to Door Stop. And I'll call it this 2. I'll keep it consistent. For our document settings, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm in inches. I'm going to go ahead and close the data panel now, and I'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with a sketch, click that XY plane, and I'll draw a rectangle. The rectangle in this case, we want it to be 5 inches long, and I'll tab over and I'll say 1.8 inches thick. 1.8. There we go. I will go ahead and press the E key to extrude it. I'm actually going to keep this pretty small. It's going to be 0.2. Alright, so there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a circle on the end. So if we look at the door stop, we've got this arc here at the end. So let's talk about how to do that. I'll go back into sketch mode. I could have done this a little bit earlier too probably. But I'll go over here and kind of, there's that midpoint. So I'm going to draw my circle out to the end, and then I'm just going to place the circle. It's done. I will go ahead up here to the scissors. I can click them, or I can just simply press the T key on my keyboard. I'm going to get rid of this line. I'll go ahead and extrude this now. That needs to be 0.2 as well. And you can see it went the other way, so I'm going to flip it this way. And I want to make sure that this goes back to join, right? Because by default, it might try to do a cut on us. So there we go. Got kind of the basic outline. Let's go ahead and let's learn how to do a draft. Okay, so I'm going to rotate this in such a way where I can see the end here and the, and the face. So up here under Modify is Draft. So to do a draft, it's going to say, all right, pull direction. So I'm going to click here. And for faces, I'm going to click here. And then you'll see there's an angle right here. That will allow me to, to make that angle. I want this angle to be exactly 9. So I'll just put a 9 in there. All right, so if I'm taking a look, I'm moving on pretty good here, aren't I? All right, so now I know that the front of this, to be an effective doorstop, really needs a chamfer. So I'll go up here to... Well, there's a fillet. The fillet, remember, will round it off. But I'm going to go back to modify, and I'll say, you know what? I need it to chamfer. So right there. And I'll just click this top edge here. And for the chamfer distance, I want that to be 0.2 as well. So it looks something like that. Now I'm going to bring out the fillet. I can click fillet, or I can also just press the F key on my keyboard. I want to click the whole top there, as well as this edge and this edge and this edge and for that fillet I'm going to make that 0 0.08 well, there we go so now we're going to get into the top part here so we're going to put this little embossed uh, actually this is more of a recessed little cut and then we're going to do an embossed in for our school name so let's take a look at how to pull that off first I'm going to rotate it so I can see kind of this edge I'll go into sketch mode and I'll click right here. And right up here by the scissors, there's trim, right? Here is offset. So I'm just going to kind of click right here and see how it turns blue. And I'll just start dragging it down. For my offset, I want this to be uh, 0.25. It went the wrong way, so I can just grab and say negative 0.25. There we go. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And what I'll do now is I kind of want to just cut that. So I'll say finish sketch or just press the E key to go to extrude. Click that little area there. And I'll say, you know what, let's make this negative 0 0.02. So just a slight little, slight little cut there, right? 
Okay, we're moving along pretty good. Now I want to put the end there, so I'm going to go here to sketch. I am going to turn this in such a way that it'll actually... All right, I'll go up here to create. Notice I am in sketch mode, right? I'll go up here to create and I'll say text. I'm just going to kind of draw a box right here. I'm going to say, all right, I need that to be an N. And for the dimension, for the height of that N, I'm going to put a 1 in here. And then I'll hit OK. That's going to allow me to move this in just about anywhere on here that I want. It's going to move it almost like a picture would. All right, so I'm done with the sketch. I'm going to go up to create now. And I'm going to go down to where it says emboss right here. So it says which profile. Well, I want to click the in there. And for faces, I'll click right here. And I'll click right there. Looks like it didn't get the profile, so I'll try that again. There we go. And now let's kind of rotate that around a little bit. I know that I want it to kind of go down in there, right? So for my depth here, I'm going to just use negative 0 0.05. So now when I rotate this around, there you see it. Okay, and that's our finished product. I remember down here at the bottom, anytime I need to go back through and change some things, I can. I can also kind of hit the play button, and it'll give me a, a kind of a play-by-play -play of, of how I did this. Make sure before you exit, though, that you save, right?